Okay, so this video I'm going to show you guys how to uh, how to use a file. Um, actually, the preferred file for uh, working on your dragsters is the round file. We also have a four-in-one file. Works pretty much the same way. All right, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to uh, clamp down your material, right, so that you can work on it. Now, be careful clamping your material because a couple things can happen. You can break your project by clamping it down to the table. You can also put dents in it. So you can always get a piece of scrap wood. You can find that um, maybe in the scrap bin or maybe somebody recently threw it away. Um, just look around, you'll probably find a piece of scrap wood. This is so that you can um, put on top of your wood and it'll be less likely to actually put a dent in your wood. So you want to secure your project to the table. Okay, get that really tight. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually work in this area right here and file that down. Because once you're done um, cutting it on the bandsaw, there's going to be um, saw marks and you want to you get rid of those. Kind of looking at this as well. I may need to go and get another clamp for that. Yeah, so I'm going to have to actually grab another clamp because uh, it's not holding it tightly. What I have handy is I have a hand screw clamp. Even though I do prefer the bar clamps, we'll go ahead and use this because it's because it's handy. And the tricky thing about the uh, the hand screw is those jaws do move unparallelly. I don't think that's actually a word. They don't. Oh man. So actually what we've just done right there, did you hear that popping noise? Um, I'm kind of actually glad that that, uh, that happened. Our project was not supported up underneath and as we clamped it down, it actually put some force there and, and broke our wood. So what you may need to do is get a piece of uh, scrap wood and put up underneath to actually support your project. So if you, once you're okay, so now if I push on that, I can see it's actually supported all the way around. So unfortunately, that's probably going to need to get glued a little bit later. All right, there. Now it's secure. Now I can actually start using the file. Now what you want to do is you don't want to go just back and forth this way or back and forth this way. It's kind of a diagonal. Okay. Kind of a diagonal action to it and you can really kind of get in there and grind away at the wood. This is going to be a lot quicker than using a piece of sandpaper, which a lot of kids want to do is jump right into using the sandpaper when they could use a file and speed up the process quite a bit. Now you can see that the bandsaw marks, you might work up a little sweat, some PE credit for this. Um, you can see it does a, does a pretty good job. Now, the file does uh, get clogged. I'm going to run over really quick to the uh, tool cabinet. I'm going to grab something that's called a file cleaner, sometimes called a file card. So stand by. And here is the file file cleaner. And you actually kind of go in the direction of the grain to knock those pieces of wood out of the file, the sawdust out of the file. And then you can continue. Okay, so play around, move it around. Try the clamp in some different positions and uh, see how that works for you. Sometimes it works if you go a certain direction with the wood grain, it'll actually cut easier. So that's the, uh, the round file. 